Good morning, Buccaneers. Broadcasting from Ten Island High School on Wednesday, October 25th. This is your Buck Report. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about today's events and meetings. Yesterday, our volleyball team traveled all the way to Salisbury to take on James Bennett. Another fun bus ride was had as they celebrated their victory 2-0 for JV and 3-0 for varsity. Next up, Queen Anne's on Thursday. Also yesterday, our golf team competed in day one of the MPSSAA State Tournament. Josh David and Grant Ferrier will both be competing again today as they look to build on their successes from yesterday and finish among the upper echelon of 1A, 2A golf. Both have a legitimate <laughs> chance to finish inside the top 10 to 15 with another strong outing. Today, our cross-country team will be heading to Cambridge, Maryland for the Bayside Championship. This event begins at 3 p.m. Additionally, our cheer team will be heading to Century High School for another competition. This will begin at 5.30. Today, here at home, our men's soccer team will be hosting Wacomico High School. Their game starts at 5 p.m. for the first round of the regional playoffs. Anyone planning to attend will need to pay $6 entrance fee for this and any future regional playoff game. Good, Good luck, luck to everyone. everyone. Good morning, Bucks. It is currently 58 degrees out. We'll see sun the rest of today and a high of 70 later. We had some fog this morning, but it's all cleared up now. Have a great day, Bucks. All right, guys, it's still Italian week and spaghetti and meatballs with breadsticks and carrots. And on the burger line, it's a spicy chicken sandwich. And on the pizza line, it's sausage. Have a nice day. Juniors and seniors, many of you have turned in your dual enrollment certification forms this morning. Remember to ensure that you get a time slot to meet with a rep to schedule classes for next semester. We need this in. If we get them in too late, you might have to go out to the college to schedule your classes. So make sure you get those in right away. Bridgewater is visiting Friday. Bridgewater is a small private school in Virginia and it is one of the best for your money nationwide. Sign up for it on Aviance. The Coding Club will meet today from 2.30 to 3.30. See Mr. Coiner if you have any questions. This is a reminder to all third period AP macroeconomic students with Mrs. Kapadia. You are now to report to Portable 1 starting today. Again, all students who have AP macro with Mrs. Kapadia third period will report to the class outside in Portable 1 today and for the foreseeable future. Happy Wednesday, Bucks. I hope you're all having a great day. This week, we have something special in store for you. We're focusing on something very important, a growth mindset. It's all about embracing challenges, learning from them, and growing stronger in the process. As we wrap up October, I want to remind you that our theme for the month has been resilience. I hope you've had the chance to learn about the importance of becoming resilient and committing to success. Remember, it's a crucial key to unlocking success in all that you do. Looking ahead to November, our theme will be values and our wellness word or buck expectations for the month is show respect. We'll be exploring what values are most important to us as individuals and as a school community. Let's make respect a cornerstone of everything we do. So, as you go about your day, keep in mind the power of a growth mindset. Reflect on the resilience you've gained this month and evaluate your mindset. Also, Check out the five tips to cultivating a growth mindset if you haven't already. Get ready to embrace the values of show respect next month. Have a positive and a productive day. Attention D&D &D members, there will not be a meeting this week. Please contact Ms. Marchetto with any questions. The French Club will meet this Friday in room 157 from 235 to 330. For questions or more information, please contact Mrs. Puntusa. Ken Island students and staff, looking for a way to spice up your holiday decorating this year? Look no further than the annual band and choir poinsettia and wreath fundraiser. Choose from two to four poinsettia plants in various colors, noble fir wreaths, and white pine roping to decorate your space for this holiday season. All the proceeds will go to the student travel in the spring. To place an order, find your nearest band or choir member and ask about the fundraiser. They will have an order to form to fill out and will be able to collect payment from you on the spot. Hurry, orders will be taken no later than Tuesday, October 31st. That is about all the time we have today. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Go Bucks!
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.